Hey everyone, so tonight I have my book signing event which is so exciting and nerve-wracking. It's my first book signing and it's for Breaking Ties. It's at my friend's shop so she's graciously hosting and we have free wine and nibbles so I'm really excited about that. But yeah, in this video you'll get to see me get ready for that event and talk a bit about how I'm feeling, do a little book event haul, show my signed books and book stickers which I got from Zazzle. They're okay. Picture they're always shiny and then whenever I get them I forget and I'm disappointed because they're matte. But either way, I'm taking you along with me to my book signing so enjoy the video. Okay so now I'm getting ready for the event. I have to do my makeup. I've already curled my hair and it's just in a bun until I'm ready to go. So I thought I'd do a quick little haul of the stuff that I'm taking to my signing. So I've got some plastic wine glasses because we are doing like a free wine and nibbles type of thing. I've already put through a cheese platter that my mum was meant to be helping me with but she is sick so now I've gone and rushed out this morning got the stuff for that got some extra biscuits to take i couldn't fit the whole packet obviously i've got some got some cheese knives to take with me yeah so the ultimate guide to magazine publishing has been ready to come out for like the last few months um i just needed someone to look over like the adobe InDesign tutorial just to make sure that I had everything okay because I haven't used it in a while and um, I don't currently have Adobe to go over it and check. Uh, so that is done now and I just need someone to edit it. I'm like I'm debating whether to actually have someone edit it or not because it is like I've had a few people go over it and baby read and they've kind of picked up on mistakes. I've read it several times. It is a non-fiction book so I kind of feel like I am better at writing non-fiction in the way of like spelling and everything and like fiction has a lot more that can go wrong in it than non-fiction because non-fiction is like everyday writing um, and I've had I have like Oh, what's it called? Grammarly and stuff. And also this one is just going to be an ebook. I originally wanted it to be print and ebook, but it's not big enough for print, unfortunately. So it's just going to be an ebook. Maybe one day as I add more stuff to it, it will be big enough for print because as it goes on and I revise it and learn more and whatever, I can add stuff like I had someone go over it and um he suggested that I add a chapter about merch because I did mention merch for magazines but I didn't make a chapter so I might actually add that too and then I will be putting that book out but it is up for pre-order right now for anyone that is interested in making a magazine and it's kind of a weird feeling like I'm putting out my fifth book but it doesn't really feel like I'm putting out it's like I can count it as another book like even though it is but it's non-fiction so it kind of feels like I can't count it and also I literally just put out Breaking Ties like a month ago so I feel like is it too soon to be putting out another book like will it Will people not buy it because they'll be like Ugh, i just bought her last book or like will they start expecting more regular releases from me like i don't know so that's another thing that i'm kind of debating on like is it even worth putting it out so soon after the other release even though one is fiction and one is non-fiction i'll probably just put it out anyway okay. Two Minds, my first book, the audio book for that is done and ready, but I just have to go over, I have 10 days to listen to it all and make sure that it's all good and I don't want 
the narrator to make any changes. So far, it sounds really good to me. Two Minds is ready for me to look through and make suggestions for through and pay for. But being an audiobook, it's super expensive and uh, I like I really thought that I'm going through Drafter Digital or Find Away Voices, which is Drafter Digital. Um, and I really thought like everywhere else they would have payment plans because I always like pay do payment plans with my editors and my formatters and literally everything else, cover design. Um, and then they told me halfway through that they do not. So I've got to somehow save up a lot of money in like 10 days or whenever I approve it. They said I don't have to pay it until I've approved it, but they then they say they give you 10 days to look through it. So unless I have changes for her, then I don't know. And you have to pay per finished hour as well. So yeah, I don't know. It's a bit stressful. That's another thing, like just put out Breaking Ties and I put out a magazine book and then I put out like this um, audio book. Is it just all too much to put out in like one month? Should I save some for other months? So it looks like I've got, like buys me a bit of time between the next book that I put out, which I'm still writing. Yeah, I don't know what I should do. Like I'm always just tempted to put them all out in one go so that I can make more money you know like I need money so it's just really tempting to put them out when they're done so that I can make money also today I am literally looking after my kids while getting ready for this event and that has just made things a little bit more stressful too but it's the reality of having kids and also having a job and everything just life in general so i've had to organize in nap time by the way and only one child naps so the other one's gonna watch tv while i do the platter, like make the cheese platter, revise, like read out loud the chapter that I'm going to read several times so I don't mess it up. Um, get ready, do my hair and makeup. I had to dye my hair this morning. Um, I had to edit a YouTube video, which I've been editing for like a week now. So I just finished that. Um, and that's ready to upload and pack the wine, make sure I've got my books, got to sign them, got to do a bunch of stuff and... The baby is now awake um, and yeah I've got to finish getting ready and then get all that stuff together. I've got to cook the kids dinner, I've got to get them ready for bed because a babysitter is coming um, and yeah do bath time, do bed like the bed routine as much as I can before she comes she'll have to put them to bed and all that stuff and then be picked up. I still have to find what I'm gonna wear and then be picked up from my friend who's organizing it um at her shop and yeah so it's been a bit of a day but i'm gonna go get the baby up and then i'm gonna finish getting ready and hang out with the kids for a few hours um before i get picked up to leave so i'll see you guys when i'm ready to go and i'll film me reading at the book reading so i'll see you guys there
que me desvío? So this is from Jameson's point of view and this book has a few different points. Iris and I studied the book that we were left, the forbidden magical book of secrets. Only the hierarchy had laid eyes on it until today, and now we had to, had to decide what to do with it. Do we let the free use of magic back into the aisle? I questioned Iris awkwardly. I was trying to assert myself as wise and knowledgeable, but making decision, decisions together was foreign. We had only been married for a week, but already so much had been thrust upon us as the new leaders of the hierarchy. My mother was still ruling by our side and had a lot of input and an abundance of her own ideas that she wanted to see come to fruition. As annoying as it was having your mother hang off your shoulder when you were a newlywed couple trying to rule a nation, Iris and I had the final say, so that was something. Of course, Iris said impatiently, tucking a dark strand of hair behind her ear. I always said that when I came into ruling, the magic would be back. I don't know why my mother banned it in the first place. She was shaking her head in confusion. Okay, magic is back, I stated matter-of-factly, turning the pages in front of us. We both shuffled awkwardly as our wandering fingers touched by accident. I cleared my, fro my throat. What's next? How about giving me some grandchildren? My mother interrupted unexpectedly, walking into the throne room. Her shoes sounded loudly on the marble flooring as both Iris and I moved away from one another swiftly to avoid my mother's unwelcome. So I'm filming this outro early because I'm sure I will forget to film it at the end of the night. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next one.